inviting her out, you guys. Oh, oh no, wait, oh sh Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. We are on episode 98, which is super exciting, you guys. I've got so much stuff in store. I mentioned in the last episode, the one where we do the Windenburg Palace tour, that I am taking a break from the Dynasty series and my Sims Up Legacy series because I do want to focus on this. So I've just got so much stuff in mind, guys. And also, as this video is being posted, I know that Magic Realm will already be out. So I, it is the, it is two days before it has come out for me as I'm filming this. So I have not seen it yet, but I'm so excited. But we are going to get back into some story stuff in this episode. So it's going to be super fun. We're going to age up some babies. We're going to focus on Prince Kellen and Princess Megan as well and Amira, of course, and then we'll get to see some other Sims as well. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. So as you guys can see, we are starting at the royal family of Sulani's place because I do want Princess Leilana to age up her two kids. We have Prince Bacana. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I was like, I don't know where Princess Samaria is because I forgot to look for her after the episode when they were born, but there she is. All right, we found her. I have not uh, done any renovations to like their nursery or anything yet, but I mean, they're about to turn into toddlers anyway, so I feel like that's fine because I was just taking so much time with doing the royal family of Windenburg's palace, so I haven't done much to this palace yet, but I will upload it to the gallery soon and kind of like do a little bit more renovations with them. I did also mentioned two episodes ago that I this is probably it for the kids of Sulani I don't think we oh we do need to take care of some crying babies um but I don't think we need to have any more babies in, in this royal family I think two is enough because I think the other royal families are having like three or more so I don't want too many kids because it's just going to be a lot to keep track of so Try to like limit it a little bit. Um, but also I did realize that like, they'll just tell us when, cause I know Princess or yeah, Princess Corinne and Queen A have not had their babies yet. And I realized that the game's just gonna tell us when they are born. So I don't actually have to go to them for them to have their baby. It's just like exciting to see them have their baby and everything too. So that's also super fun. But we are going to hopefully, oh, I'm, I'm sure they'll have their baby in this episode. I do know that someone else had their baby. I will show you guys too, that I didn't get to show you before. And then of course, two episodes go, we have the Princess Belle who had her baby, so you guys got to see her. Um, but I did, okay, so I'm filming this when the next episode of the Royal Family, episode 97, episode 96 has not been posted yet. So that's the one where we do have uh, Princess Amira finally deciding that she becomes the heir. So I haven't seen any comments on that yet. So just so you guys know, I'm also filming episode 99 today. So I'm just getting a lot done on my like few days off. So you guys will get to see them as well. So I, I apologize I because I kind of feel bad that I'm not able to see your guys' comments or anything, but we will get to that soon. But yeah, okay guys, anyway. Okay, so we're going to age up their babies. Wait, why is Princess Leilana sad? Did someone, who died? Wait, who died? Oh. Oh, Countess Carla died. Oh, guys, Lady Arya's mother died. Or now Countess Arya's mother died. So that's sad. So she died. Oh, she should be having her baby in this episode too. But yeah, it looks like her mother died. So that's not that's not good. But I guess Princess Leilana was close to her too. So anyway, okay. So first we are going to age up Prince Makana because he was the first born. So we can see what he looks like and I'm so excited. Okay, so he is aging up into a toddler. It is a little dark in this room. Okay. So Prince Makana, so let's do a random trait for him. So he's a charmer, guys. Okay, that's good. You know, the heir to the throne, that's good that he's a charmer. So this is Prince Makana, so he's super, super cute. I mean, there's really no surprises with the way he's going to look because Dean and, and oh, I need to change his name, like not Prince Consort Dean because technically, Princess Leilana is not the queen yet, so we're not technically, she's not the queen yet. So it's actually just supposed to be Prince Dean, or it would technically just be Lord Dean, but we'll keep it as Prince Dean for now. So this is Prince Makana. He is the heir to the throne. He is supposed to be the chief or the king of Zulani. So that's gonna be super cool. So, oh guys, he's really cute. But yeah, there's really no surprises with the way they're gonna look because Princess Leilana and Prince Dean, they kind of look similar. So next we are going to have Princess Samaria age up, you guys. 
I'm excited for her too. I just, I love these little like Sulani babies, like all grown up. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm so excited. Okay, so she is aging up into a toddler. She was like in that crib and like shaking for a while. It looks a little freaky. We're gonna do random. So she is independent guys. So Princess Samaria is independent. So that's really cool. Okay guys. Oh, they're so cute. I, so I'm gonna go to rename. I will also, yeah, cause I just need to change it to Princess Samaria. So I will change their outfits in a, another episode and come back and show you guys. But this is so cute. So Prince Dean and Princess Le- Oh, my boss is calling. Well, you should probably go to work. Um, but Princess Leilana and Prince Dean, these are their first babies. This is also Queen Lokalani and King Mahaka's first grandchildren. And they're twins, of course, too. So that's really, really cute. But I feel like they're going to be super close. Maybe even like Prince Maka Makana being like a little overprotective of Princess Samaria and all that stuff too. I think it's just going to be really, really cute. And we can like try to, there's like so many babies now. So like all these babies have so many choices of like who to marry and all that too, but it'll be really fun. Okay. So they're playing and they're really cute. This room is really dark, but I will change this into a nice little nursery later on. We'll do that later because I want to focus on some other things in this episode as well. So we are actually going back to the royal family of Windenburg's palace because we're going to focus on Prince Kellen and Princess Meghan in this episode. I know in the last episode I did mention that we're going to focus on Prince Johan and kind of who he's going to end up with, but I think we're actually gonna do that in the next episode because I do wanna give time for like Lady Sadira and I think it's Lady Sadira. I think Lady Aurora is already a young adult, but I wanna give just like a little bit more time before Lady Sadira turns into a young adult and that should be by the next episode. Um, but yeah, so we'll focus on Kellen and Megan in this episode and then Amira too, because so as I mentioned before, because Amira is now the heir to the throne, she's not marrying Johan anymore and I'm kind of wondering like, ugh, guys, I still keep getting this and I haven't figured that out. I really need to do that soon. Um, but I am, oh, and we're at our new palace too, you guys. I love this palace so, so much. It's amazing. Oh gosh, this is amazing. Okay, I'm just so happy with how this turned out and everything. It's so great. Oh, and then Kellen, I'm gonna change you back into all black because I think you are still wearing all black just because everyone else is too. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, but I, what was I Thing. Oh yeah, I was thinking maybe Amira is like, like because she broke up with Makai technically because of her mom, but mostly because of Princess May and the fact that she had to be engaged to Johan again. So I'm wondering if she's gonna try to talk to Makai again, but if you guys remember, Makai's, Ma oh, she wants to invite over Lord Maxwell, that's her cousin, yes, we get to see him. Although I think he's wearing some ridiculous outfit because I have not changed his outfit at all. But because, it's okay, so yeah, if you guys remember, Makai's mother did not like Amira, mostly because she's not, like she just didn't think she would like respect her, their culture and everything. And Makai's technically supposed to take over like their family, like politic business stuff too. But then he also has a younger brother, so he could just take over. But I think her mom is, or his mom is very, very controlling. And someone mentioned in the comments too, like imagine like the mom from Crazy Rich Asians. If you guys haven't seen the movie, I'm sure you've seen the trailer and you can always see how controlling she is from there. Oh, also guys, I also uploaded, uh, let's go to my gallery so you guys can see, cause I uploaded a few things for you. So I did upload the Royal Kids from that video that I did a few videos ago. Um, so they, they're all in the gallery now. And I also uploaded version two of the Royal Family. So that's our current Windenburg Royal Family. So that is including all the kids. Um, although that's Princess Diana as a toddler, not as a, as a child, um, but you guys can still all see too. So they're all up there as well. So I'll upload like the other family too when they like start being done having kids just so you guys have like the whole families and everything. But yeah, so they're all in there now. Um, but so yeah, I was thinking Amira might call Makai. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna get a lot of notifications, I guess. Um, but, but I think Amira might call Makai to see how things are going. And then I definitely want Kellen to call Princess Megan and invite her over because I, okay. So I was thinking that maybe, oh, there's still a romantic relationship with Prince Johan. Oh yeah, so basically I know that Prince Johan and um, Amira, they ended up like obviously breaking up because Amira was gonna be on the throne. And that was, I think they were fine with it. I'm sure there's still like a little bit of attraction between them, but like they're fine, like it's okay. It was a very mutual breakup thing. So 
they'll be okay. So they've already talked, and and Johan's been like informed of the situation that he is supposed to marry one of the daughters of Princess Anna. And there's like three of them too. And I feel like his dad is very like, because his dad is very open to things because I mean the situation of him trying to marry Johan's mother, Queen Nina, and his parents being really strict about it. But it's also like he made this deal with with King George. So he's like, I'm sorry, Johan, you gotta follow it. He's like, there's so many girls. Like, I hope like one of them is going to like, you're gonna fall in love with one of them. There's definitely more girls out there. Like, obviously I know that you're sad about Princess May, but like you'll, you'll love again and all that stuff too. Like, yeah, I think he's using like King Henry as an example. King Henry's wife died before and um, he fell in love again. He found love again. So like, I think that you can too. So anyway, yeah. Okay. I, oh, did it say that uh, Megan's coming over? Yes. Okay. So Princess Megan will be right. Oh, there she is. Okay. So Princess Megan is here. So a lot of people were saying, we do need to do a friendly interaction with her. A lot of people were saying that maybe Princess Megan, maybe she just didn't want to be queen. And that's why they didn't get along. So obviously she knows now that Kellen's not going to be the king anymore, but they haven't really talked about it. But I feel like she was kind of like, oh, like, huh, okay. So I'm going to, oh, and he's kissing her on the cheek. Oh, oh my God, guys. Oh, that was really cute. And then if you guys saw the last episode, or a few episodes too, he was trying to be romantic with Princess Megan and she was kind of like not about it. Or he like confessed his attraction. So I feel like we're going to get to see if, and ignore the, the friendship going down because it's just a glitch that I have. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, so Kellen and Megan are now just looking at the stars. So I was thinking like, we'll get to see like, if she's not receptive of his romantic interactions, then I'll know for sure if they weren't meant to be together. But if she is receptive, then I'll know that it was just because that she didn't want to be queen. But then if, if she's not receptive at all, then I'll know like if she just doesn't want to be with Kellen. So that will be cool to see. Okay, so let well, not cool to see. I'm like nervous to see this actually because I would really love them to end up together, but I don't know like if she's going to be about it. Okay, so I do want Amira to, I think she's just going to text Johan or not Yo. Oh no, not Johan. I think she's gonna text Makai first because they don't really have, like it's awkward between them right now, but I feel like she might be missing him a little bit. I don't even know how this is going to go, guys. Like, I don't know. Cause like his mother hates her. They'd have to wait until she like passes away before they end up together or something like that. Like it would be really, really hard. Makai is older now. Like he doesn't just listen to his mother now, but he also hasn't dated anyone since Amira. So I kind of feel like he still misses her a lot. Oh, oh, and he's, he's inviting her out, you guys. Oh, okay. So he's inviting her to the cafe. So maybe we should bring Kellen and Megan with us because I wanted to focus on both of them. So if they're all there, oh wait, no, Megan's not, oh, okay. Well, if I if I bring Kellen, then I can invite Megan to come through Kellen later too. So we'll just invite them all to come. Okay, so we are here now. Makai, you need to put some clothes on. Okay, so I am going to have Kellen where are we? Is this a new place that I have not been to before? Oh, this is in Wittenberg though. Okay, interesting. Um, but we are going to have Kellen now invite over Megan. Like I know I was just with you, but why don't we hang out here too? So invite Megan and then I can just have them, I guess, go on like an official date here. Is that, I, I've never, whoa, guys, I've never been here before. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, so she texted Makai and Makai invited her to come out. So that's really, really cute, you guys. But Kellen and Megan, you guys should also kind of get away from everyone so you're not in this group conversation while you are trying to flirt because I think Kellen is is trying to flirt with her for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and go like cloud gazing or stargazing. Oh, and also because I have not posted episode 96 yet, that's where I asked you guys to make townies for me to put in my game. So I'm not going to be able to add those until probably before I film episode 100, but I probably won't address it in that episode. I, I'm gonna try to if I remember, but if not, I'll definitely address it in episode 101. So you guys will get to see your townies. As I mentioned, they're just kind of gonna be in like the background, like kind of like when we go out in public like this, you guys will kind of get to see your townies, but just so we get like a few, like a little bit more variety of, of things as well. So um, yeah, so you guys will get to see the townies and I'm so excited to see your guys' townies too. I, I haven't like seen any yet because they're not uploaded yet because I haven't like made the announcement yet, but it's, I'm just really, really excited you guys. Oh, oh no, wait, oh sh Oh no, that's Makai's mother, she's here. Oh, this is not gonna go good. Okay, all right. Now they found each other. She found, oh <gasps> guys. Oh wait, Princess Corinne just gave birth to a baby girl. I thought, Queen Neo was supposed to give birth first. 
I thought I had her have her baby or, or try for a baby first, but okay. I really need to keep track of the babies and the ages and like the order of them because I have not done that. And I really need to do that. I'm gonna have to like go through my past episodes and kind of like remember who's older. I know Prince uh, Cornelius is the oldest and I know that Princess Arya is right after him, but everyone else I, I need to keep track of just like a little bit more. Okay, so Princess Corinne had another baby girl. So this is her third baby. That's probably all I'm going to do for the babies of Willow Creek, but I definitely want uh, Queen Nea of Oasis Springs to have more babies. So I need to go through my baby names. Okay, so I actually, so there, there was another baby. I think it was Lady Helena's baby. I I have to go back. I think she had a baby girl and I named her print. I named her Lady Rosalind. So I'll go back and show you guys her too. Uh, but okay, so we have, oh, oh guys, I think we're going to name her Juliet. I love that name a lot. I, someone had suggested that a while ago and I hadn't had the chance to use it yet. I, oh no. Okay, well it's Princess Julie right now, but it's gonna be Princess Juliet. I love the name Juliet, guys. I played Juliet in high school in Romeo and Juliet. It was my favorite role ever. So I love this and it means like, this is just super, like this means a lot to me just cause I love the name Juliet. And I love the character a lot. So we're going to name her Princess Juliet, you guys. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I love that it just, oh, Oh, sh oh no, guys. Oh, they had four kids. Oh, that's way more kids than I wanted her to have. Oh no, okay. Oh, oh my God, twins are so common right now. Like we have so many sets of twins in this series right now. Oh my God, okay, I gotta come up with another baby name, guys. Oh no. Oh, we could name her Elena after King Edmund's mother. Oh, there's also Cordelia, oh. Cordelia and Juliet, or Elena and Juliet. Elena, I, let's name her Elena because I, I kind of want to like that she's named after her grandmother. So Princess Elena. Okay, okay, that's enough. I don't need any more. Okay, anyway, um, Amira and Makai's mother found each other and they're just, they're yelling at each other, you guys. I don't even know. Makai left. Like, Makai's not here anymore. I don't know what happened or where he, oh, he's over there. Makai, come help her. You need you are the one who asked her to come out so you need to help her because this is this is not helping right now you need to come back i kind of feel like amira might have told her like i feel like makai's mother approached her and i feel like amira and makai haven't even gotten the chance to talk yet about like like i like you or anything like that i feel like oh she's feeling embarrassed though so that's not good um but i feel like she told makai's mother like you can't, like, you can't treat me like this. Your son is an adult. Oh, now she's feeling angry. Oh gosh, she's feeling all kind of emotions right now. I don't think she's gotten that emotional in a really long time. So that's, that's not a good thing. So Kellen, why don't, oh, do you need to complain about your problem? Are you feeling sick? Oh, he's feeling nauseous. That's not a good thing. But why don't you just talk to Princess Megan a little bit more? So yeah, I feel like that's kind of what Amira said. Like, I feel like she said it in the most respective way as she could, but also like, this woman is being ridiculous. Oh my God, there's a fight going on. I, okay, that's no one we know, but oh God, that's not good. Okay, yeah, I feel like Amira just kind of told her that, like, you can't, like, you can't treat me like this. You can't, oh, you can't, uh, sorry. I was like looking at uh, Megan and Kellen. I, I'm sorry, I'm doing two things at once. So it's kind of difficult to keep up with both of these things. Oh, she's flirting back with him, you guys. Oh, Megan's flirting with him. Okay, so, okay, let's focus on them for a second. Okay, so, oh, no, 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 come back. Oh, no, Kellen is also feeling nauseous, so that's not a good thing. Um, Why don't you ask about Day? So, give her a heartfelt compliment. Who is this? Is this? Oh, that's a lady I said. Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. Countess Arya, finally a boy. Okay, so Countess Arya. So, this is Prince Jack, now Earl Jack of Oasis Springs, they had their first baby and they had a baby boy, you guys. Okay, so let's look at some more baby. Now, I love this. I love that it just tells us when someone has a baby. Why don't we go with Gabriel? I think we're gonna go with Gabriel. So let's name him Lord Gabriel. Okay, so that is Prince Jack and Lady, uh, now Countess R, oh no, God, sorry. Earl Jack and Countess Arya is a firstborn, so it's their son. I'm excited. Queen Neo should have been having her baby by now, I thought, but I don't know when she's having that, so she should be soon. But this is Lady Isadora, so that's one. I think this, yeah, this is King Adrian's daughter, but she doesn't know that. So that's interesting. So that's something we know that she doesn't know. Um, okay, so Kellen and Megan, it looked like things were going pretty well. There are a lot of paparazzi here. 
think we might have to go home soon. Amira is still angry. She's in the bathroom by herself, like trying to calm herself down because she is just so, so angry right now. You should probably try to calm down in the mirror or something. Cause I think this girl needs to use the bathroom. Okay, their romantic relationship has like, oh God, oh my God. You guys, Queen Nea had another girl. Oh my God. Okay. I'm probably gonna do this off camera. I'm probably gonna have her and Philip try for another baby. Cause I do, I wanted them to have like at least four kids, I feel like. Um, so they're probably gonna be trying for another baby. Okay guys, well, she had another girl. I just, the only reason I'm like, um, is because this is her third girl. And also I promised a viewer I would name their son Manuel, but she hasn't had a son yet. We're gonna try again. I'm gonna keep trying until we get a boy for them. So I did have someone asking me to name a baby Aisha. And I really like that. I think that's really pretty. It's supposed to be spelled, yeah, with an A at the end of this. I think that's really pretty. I think that's very fitting for Oasis Springs Princess. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping she'd have twins and have a boy too. So we're going to have to have them try for another baby, but that's okay. Um, it looks like Amira has finally calmed down. Yeah, guys, I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me what you think with Makai. Maybe her and Makai are not meant to be together, but we just did that video like showing like what their child would look like. And I was obsessed with their child. So that's why I want them to get together so much. Some people were saying that maybe a, like they don't even want Amira to get married like if she doesn't get married that's fine she doesn't have to get married and like if that were the case then probably either one of Kellen's kids or one of her siblings would be the would be the next heir if she were to die it probably would be one of Kellen's kids if he has kids but I just I don't know I'm not gonna not make her get married but I'm also not gonna make her get married. If we find someone for her to get married, then we'll find, we'll go with it. So it doesn't look like her and Makai are honestly gonna end up together. Honestly, I did not even plan for his mother to be there, but I feel like that's just like the universe telling us that they're not meant to be together, <laughs> unfortunately, because I like them a lot. Okay, Amira, wait, no, no, no. Amira, your brother is talking to this girl that he likes, so you need to stop. You need to be like his wingman. You need to make, like, you need to help him out, but you're not helping at all. Amira, you should probably go home, so we're gonna focus on Kellen. Okay, so Amira has gone on home now it's just Kellen and Megan because I'm trying to think I want just some sort of hint if they can get back together because if she's being very receptive I'm probably gonna have him ask her to be his girlfriend again honestly though how can you be romantic with all of this going on like someone flashing cameras in front of you and then like people screaming behind you there's no way oh my god King Edmund just came and sat down <laughs> This is Prince Kellen's uncle and he is just like sitting here and joining the conversation with them apparently. Okay, but guys, look how much the romantic relationship has gone up. Okay, so I've moved them here, although I, I have a feeling that people are going. Prince Charles is feeling very much under the weather. Gotta make sure he stays home. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, Prince Diana and Princess Bellatrix are going to school. It looks like Prince Charles is staying home from school. But okay, so we want to do more romance. Can you ask her to be your girlfriend yet or are you you guys are not already boyfriend and girlfriend right no you're not okay i was confused for a second because i kept seeing like us just to be friends but it's just because of the romance kind of, i get i don't know just because they're romantic again oh oh guys oh this is really cute oh my gosh oh guys okay they're being really cute right now although Princess Anna's husband's just like in the back here and I don't know why. <gasps> guys, okay, he can ask her to be his girlfriend. So he's gonna kiss her first and then he's gonna ask her to be his girlfriend, you guys. <sighs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys, they've been apart for a Okay, um, Sir Marshall, can you please leave? Okay, I think Marshall's about to leave. I, I used MC Command Center. Oh, did she say yes? You guys, she said yes. Oh, and they're kissing, guys. Oh, whoops, okay. <laughs> guys, they got back together. <gasps> Megan and Kellen are back together now, you guys. I know some people had like mixed feelings about it. Some people really wanted them to get back together. And some people were like saying like, maybe like Megan just doesn't want to get married, but they got back together, guys. Their boyfriend and girlfriend again. I think honestly, Kellen might propose soon because he just like knows what it's like to be without her and he hated it so much. So he might actually like just say like he never wants to lose her. Oh, okay, he's sick though. He should probably go home. Okay, okay guys. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here. We got to rekindle the love of Kellen and Megan, but we did not get to rekindle the love of Amira and of Makai. And that situation was hard. It really looks like they're not gonna end up together. And we're not gonna push Amira to end up together with anyone but maybe if she does, maybe she'll find someone. So we'll get to see. So I am going to film the next episode immediately after this. So any comments I probably won't see until episode 100. But I am excited to see your guys' comments too. So if you enjoy this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.